I had a revelation after the dream. Yeah, Jordan had a dream about the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, do you think this lines up with what I've been talking about in my video, uh, The Great Awakening uh, of Many People? I can't remember if it was part of it, but in, because it was part of the dream. They all bowed down to the figure of Christ. The king bent their knees to the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is a prophecy that every knee would bend and every head would bow from the greatest to the least. I thought, and then I woke up and I thought, what in the world does that dream mean? What in the world could that possibly mean? Was he dreaming about the resurrection, do you think? And then I, I, I understood it. I understood that if you have... 20 kings, let's say, and you took the thing that was most king-like about each of them and then you combined it into a single figure, then you'd get a single figure of transcendent heroism, of transcendent good. And it's a tenant of the Jungian school of psychology, let's say. A trans transcendent figure of good that uh, unites is the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is what Jordan is saying. And it's very interesting. Uh, how he goes to an in-depth understanding according to his, uh, his intelligence of the Lord Jesus Christ. That that figure of transcendent good is symbolized by the image of Christ. And the purpose of that image is so that even the tyrannical king has someone to bend his knee to. And that's absolutely vital. I mean, I does, you don't have to approach it from a religious perspective, although you inevitably do, because when you speak of things at this level, that's what happens. But you need an image of the transcendent embodied good. The transcendent embodied good, which can unite the whole earth. And, and this is what we've been praying and asking for. And I believe this is the kingdom of God that will rule the earth, uh, of which... Mankind will come into the revelation and understanding of and what Jordan is saying is the greatest uh, Need also need to be subject to somebody else even those who are the highest up the the highest level in in life to, to serve as something that unites the great tyrants of the past. It's something like that. It's an emergent it's an emergent vision of embodied unity. And it's a psychological necessity. It's a sociological necessity. And I think it bears very strongly on your question about why is it that people matter. It's the, the, the classic Western answer to that, the Judeo-Christian answer to that, is because you have a spark of divinity within you, and that divinity is a reflection of this transcendent good the spark of divinity that Jordan speaks about is uh, <clears throat> partaking of the d divine nature of God, of which we have a portion, we have a, a share of that divine nature when Christ is revealed to us. And it's obligatory for me to recognize that in you and vice versa if we're going to inhabit the same territory without mayhem, peacefully and with the ability to cooperate. 